And now for the second match of Melf Stomp. And uh, we'll probably just cut it off after this for tonight. Um. <laughs> so, ECW Anarchy Rules, um, a game that I grew up with, which may explain a lot about me. Uh, <laughs> uh, full of, j like, weird jobbers that just uh, never got the recognition that they deserved. Uh, we put Booger over. A lot of people would say New Legacy, but a lot of people have said it was Day Dot Zone, rest in peace, uh, that did it. Uh, so, take that for what you will. <laughs> Uh, and, um, yeah, that one time that we streamed this, uh, Sasha and I prepared a whole bunch of creative characters, and I threw that in here. It's basically a mixture of the base roster, the weird jobbers, and our creative characters. So anybody could win here. Will it be Gorgon again? No, because I, I didn't make him. Let's start. We got Cheon from Battle Monsters and for the July, which is just like a random OC I made off stream, I think. The looks, the face, it's unbelievable. That could be a little louder. Hey punk. You can't win stepping in the ring with me. If I don't kill you, one of the other baldies will do it for me. You can tell uh, for the July was not exactly a uh, <laughs> thought out the character. Because uh, she still has Angel's voice. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, just doing it. <laughs> I kept the commentary on because it's really funny. Oh, is that the great Sasuke mask? Oh, man. Like, this is the wrestling game I'll keep commentary on for because the clips are really funny, and also these just have the funniest wrestler noises in a video game. <laughs> like Shinsuke going... Sh Shinsuke? God, I'm tired. <laughs> Shion. Okay. Togo Tamari from Kengen Asura. Uh, I forget if I or Sasha made this. It could be either. Oh, they don't... How's <laughs> the audio, by the way? The, uh, recording came out a little... And the, the drill instructor... Just... That's it. That's his gimmick. Is that he's a drill instructor. Watch his full metal jacket once. And, uh... Oh, the the growing head sheet is on, by the way. The better you do, the bigger your head gets. <laughs> Here's how the AI works in this game. Also, this rumble is like a half hour. I do have a couple of Aki games on the docket. They're all an hour. Um, I decided, since we're getting back into it, uh, just do another half hour. <laughs> One for now. Then, uh... I'm sure that's fake. <laughs> I'm sure you're fake. Don't hit it. So the AI basically works. Uh, as soon as somebody reaches the lowest health in the ring, they all just start beating that one person up. Despite that, though, Shion is doing very good. Hanging power slam. Hanging power slam. Oh. Player 1 just got thrown out of the ring! 
God, what a dumb <sighs> game. Joel Gertner, like, the funny thing about Joel Gertner is that he couldn't really do, like, his innuendo stuff in this game. So, like, he's just kind of working with, like, just Player two. kind of more normal speed. jokes. And he's actually really funny here. Player two. Having a hard also, this character was me phoning it the hell in during that stream. With the blank, dude. Body slam. <laughs> I should have just called him white guy. <laughs> Dollar Tree Psychoid, yeah. The Psychoid, the unplayable Psychoid from EX3 was a definite inspiration. Against the rope. <laughs> well, she's out. Uh, this is... The Jester is actually one of the uh, developers, I think. Uh, I assume he was not dressed like this in the office. Oh god, he does. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Oh shit, more of Def Jam. Sasha's creation here. Fat Joe is back. Fat Joe as crack. I, I don't uh, like that sound he's making. <laughs> and it's just a wriggle free. Player one, submit it. I saw it. I, I don't know what she said. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Please get blank dude out of there. <laughs> What's this driving me crazy? <laughs> and downstage, player two. Quick, go for the opening. Hey, kill Jester. There you go. The DI. Perfectly executed full forward power bomb. Sally M, one of the jobbers. <laughs> Her initials are S and M. So you get it? Because... Because... People... People have fetishes. Yeah, we, <laughs> He got power bombed and just walked it off. He's new selling everything. Ugh. Also, I don't really know what's going on with, like, the straps in the chest area. It's, like, straps that kind of make, like, a pentagram or something. I don't know if that's physically possible to do, but... God, the voices in this game are never not funny. Oh god, I don't remember this character at all. I think I just hit random select one night when I was really tired and just called her Mrs. He sure will. <laughs> if you look closely, her uh, eyes are closed. That is... What are the... I'll have to read it out because I can't get chat box working for whatever reason. One of the coughs sounds like Ricky Rogers' great-grandma from Rap City Street. <laughs> Sally M is down and looks hurt. This should be brutal. Oh, she's main Tenkun's uh, cousin. That adds some more. Player one, what an escape. Player one breaks the devastating hole. She's from a uh, family in China who just if you have their blood in your veins, you are sleepy all the time. Try something quick. Sally M out. 
Everybody's gonna vent their frustration thanks to that one fight in Def Jam. <laughs> and there's Joel Gertner. Joel Gertner nails a running <laughs> clothesline. Player three nails the atomic drop. <laughs> I kind of miss Tung Fu Ru. I, I didn't play him much in 14, but I just kind of appreciated he was there. Gurner, don't be so hard on yourself. Joke. I'm not sure what like what half these crowd members say. <laughs> Yeah, like that. I did not make a single word out of that. Hit him in the arm. Hit him in the head. We want blood. Red, red, red. I'll drive. <laughs> Gertner going on a bloodthirsty rampage in the ring. <laughs> that power bomb apparently sucks because they're just always getting up from it. <laughs> yeah, Joel Gertner. Inflating the head of a drill sergeant with a bear hug. That, that, that's that's wrestling video games to me. Perfectly executed full forward power bomb. See, I don't do the uh, the zero to five scale for the pain scale. I use uh, the pain scale from Anarchy Rules. So Gertner already out, which is a shame. D <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ow. Oh, no, no, no. Ow. Here we go again. Oh, okay. For a sleepy lady, she's doing very well. <laughs> And she's already. <laughs> Soon as I said that. Oh wait, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and it's Alco. I wonder who made this. <laughs> yeah, there's melty blood all over the place. I forgot she's in the new one now. I kind of forgot the new game existed, to be honest. Like. I like it a lot, it's just, I think so many other games came out at the same time that I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> Full melty jacket, that's pretty good. I made this one, it's the family friend from This House Has People in it. Tiger Suplex! These fans need to shut up! <laughs> uh, family friend could not fit in the, uh, in the name field, so I just called her Link's Lady. Fat Joe finally out. No. I love the Helium Monster so much. I don't think he's in this uh, rumble. His voice is, but... It's... Oh, Mad Player Goat, two. yeah. He's another Super one of the developer kick. jobbers. Got very nervous in the ring. I guess he hasn't want Link's disease. Player one. There's a pile driver. Oh, my God. Jesus. That looked awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, Player one is having a hard time getting up. You have to be sure the wrestler is really seeing stars before attempting a big move. Get a real name, player one. Well, she doesn't have a real name in the, uh... In the, um... In the... The, 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 the fucking thing. <laughs> I'm good at English. Oh, gosh, she does sound like Luna Vachon now. <laughs> at WrestleMania, you better be wearing a mask. Because you'll get Link's disease. 
Also, I'm gonna keep the Luna's look, which is awesome. Um, for some reason, it always reminds me of like the Punk Poodle from Cat Dog. I'm not sure what it is. She didn't sound like uh, that, unfortunately, which would be really funny, but. Gabe Sapolsky, he was really only here because uh, his voice set is hilarious. And yeah, that 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 was her. <laughs> it's really weird how oddly important Gabe Sapolsky is. I don't know if he's done great things, but... It's just strange to see him in playable form here. Yeah, the, player two. the phone calls that just end with, like, her and them screaming still kind of freak me out. So it's all jobbers right now. I don't know if Gabe Sapolsky is considered a jobber here. Valkyrie's definitely a jobber. So this is all acclaimed responsibility from from this matchup. Why are they booing the DI? What did he do? Oh god, yeah. He's saying Gabe, but I seriously thought he was saying Gay. It's like, well, it's early 2000s ECW. I'm sure the crowd's had plenty of homophobia in it. Against the ropes. Di or he? I, I think they hurt the Di's confidence because now he's not doing anything. <laughs> Why are there back-to-back -back rumbles with like? Dude's just standing there not doing anything for a weird amount of time. I don't know what that audience member just screamed, but it was very passionate. <laughs> That move looked cool, and I don't know what it's called. Scarring. Gabe, stay back. Valkyrie, stay back. <laughs> Valkyrie. He said, drill instructor, drop and give me 20. Because he's a drill instructor, and he tells people to do that all the time. And it's, uh, it's, all right. it's a really funny joke, because he, he's telling the drill instructor to do it. Instead of, like, the other way around. It's really clever. <laughs> Why did you bark like a chihuahua when she gets hit? So this is Keeper from Battle Monsters, and I gave him a suit because the skeleton suit wouldn't really work. And now he just kind of looks like somebody's boss. So... <laughs> Except the suit I gave him just kind of looks like a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's me. I forgot I was even in this. That wasn't all like, oh, hey, I'm going to immediately put myself in it. Random.org random decided that. I'm like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of Tekken 1 Ushimitsu. El Paso. Oh yeah, this was, I think Kalex and I were just like screwing around on late night Discord and I just made this character with them. It's kind of old meta from uh, Killer7. Also, yeah, my body type in this, the thing with the Acclaim games is that like, you can't really have a chubby body type, if that makes sense. It's just like, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, 
Like, even, like, Paul Heyman is, like, huge oh, the rope. in this game. And it's like, he was never really that big. Like, he's, like, a big dude, but he's not, like, Dusty Rhodes big, you know what I mean? Well, now I'm watching myself uh, get put in a full Nelson in a video game. I'll say, yeah, that is just player two, the just kid able to free yourself, man. Player two, voiced by an actual two. child. <laughs> just... <laughs> One of the fucking weirdest characters in video games, to be honest. <laughs> Oh my god, mad goats. I, like, fell out. <laughs> what was that sound? I think I made myself. I, I don't remember. <laughs> El Paso is getting a nosebleed. Hey, speaking of Paul Heyman. I'm not playing the game right now, just, you know, but... Hip toss? Yeah, hip toss. You ever heard of it, Joey Stells? Player two, going for the submission with the bear hug! What a fucking weird <laughs> game. <laughs> that is not how you burp a child. <laughs> He almost tapped out. The kid gets away. <laughs> I just like I'm looking at this matchup of these four people here, and I'm like, what happened? <laughs> Paul Heyman just had a fever dream one day, and then uh... he's not getting up. Paul Lee, stay away. <laughs> That is fair. See you later, Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Like, is he a man or an actual baby? But he's like a man with the voice of a baby and... <laughs> Me and El Paso just in this eternal... Okay, it's the best character in Mortal Kombat 3. Let's see if he's the best character in ECW and if he rolls now. He's a baby to the extreme. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Nicely executed drop kick. Yeah, whoever voiced the kid is probably like. Well, I guess uh, the timeline will probably be like. 20 or something, I don't know. Big Sal. <laughs> really excited over Big Sal. I chose Bill Alfonso for Cabal's voice because uh, it sounds a lot like his voice in MK3, and he's already out. All, all these dumb joke characters are doing really well. <laughs> <laughs> it's Regal's best buddy. Oh! What was that sound to Jerry? <laughs> Submission sounds are awful. <laughs> like Tajiri the kid. <laughs> it's 
Deary already out. Damn. Also, I, w I wasn't looking. Wait, when did I get eliminated? <laughs> Big Sally. Oh my. Full forward slam. Doug. Gentry? Gentry? Probably Gentry. Um, another guy with just the best voice set in this game. Because he's just always screaming. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm for basic moves. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello. Wrestlers around the world use that move. I uh, said so both of them are oh. Ring of Honor guys. Alright. Unfortunately, I know he passed on a while back. Rest in peace, and uh, I love the work he did for this game. Oh god. Fuck off, Joey Styles, I'm sick of you. And down stage, player three. Sometimes wrestlers just pretend to be dizzy. Joke slam, shut up! <laughs> he almost tapped that Paul Heyman. Breaks with E. <laughs> yeah, just keep kicking Big Zell. <laughs> Look who's running the show. I assume that might be... Oh, yeah, that would be Heyman, wouldn't it? <laughs> what a mess. Victory roll! Oh! Big Sal E. Graziano is getting blood all over the place! Hearing the name Big Sal Graziano makes me feel like I'm not just half Italian anymore. <laughs> I feel like I'm becoming more He's Italian the more I'm looking at him. Now's the top. Ah! Paul Heyman is <laughs> just able to free himself. <laughs> you can't Christ win with a pansy hold like that. <laughs> what was Body that? Slam, that's not the most impressive of moves. <laughs> Do it again. Player three almost tapped out. That wasn't supposed to hurt, was it? I don't think that was a leg lock. I think Big Sal just snapped his leg in half to open the sound of it. Ow. Show some respect. And downstage, player two. Paul Lee, this will do it. Charm. Boot to the face. Uh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot I forgot to change the game name. But <laughs> I'm going mean, to see. Yeah, this will be the last one for tonight, basically, because uh, I'm kind of getting hungry. But also, I kind of want to save the big stuff for the weekend. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like no, if you pay uh ten, twenty dollars more for the season pass, you get El Paso as a DLC character. El Paso's hair looks like rainbow sherbet. It's making me even hungrier now. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he was like an ECW thing. Also, the man, the myth, the legend, Booger. K kind of our mascot, really. <laughs> Standing drop kick. Hey, man, unfortunately, out now. <laughs> El Paso out now. Jen E. Regan, I think her name is. This is the random lady that. Uh, I don't know if you really wear that around the office, but. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Some of the animations in this game. Uh, this is Natsuo from the manga Tepu. I believe uh, Sasha made this character. 
Tepu, extremely good manga. Way too short. And, uh... Really needs an anime. And more people know about it. It's about a bunch of ladies that do, like, MMA. And it's not creepy or anything. And they're all cool. It's really good. <laughs> Oh god! His mouth was gushing blood. <laughs> There's a really great bit in Tepu where one of the ladies signs up for a tournament as Cameron Diaz. And she says basically in katakana, I am Cam <laughs> Cameron Diaz. And it's Jeff Gertzman. Sasha made this. Why am I getting the most horrifying submission noises possible this time? Barely able to escape that one. Booger gets away. I just wanted the funny ones. Like these ones just sound like they're getting murdered. <laughs> Booger trying to do the Korean backstep there. Ed kept them down. Get him while he's shaking out the cobwebs. Yeah. <laughs> Busted wide open. Jenny, don't know who you are. Uh, you're already out. Go for a risky move. Hey, we only got a couple more left. <laughs> the uh, king of fighters himself. This was made before his uh, 15 appearance, where he just kind of turned into Jeff Jarrett. Sasha made that, as well as Agent 47. Agent 47 stole Sandman's clothes. What do you mean by that, Gertner? <laughs> Our last three, Jeff Gertzman, Agent 47, and Antonov, all Sasha created characters. <laughs> Jeff really loves the bear hug. Just call the bear hug a pansy hold? The fuck's wrong with you? And here we go, the last two. King of Fighters versus It Man. Yeah. Hot. Hot. Into the rope. Yeah. 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 Antonov with the, the yeah. jank ass hitbox there. In ECW, the wrestlers are always willing to sacrifice their body. That is such a weird way to word that. And the King of Fighters is now uh, the King of ECW. Yes. To the victors, go the some reason, the music is really fucking loud. Hey, I mean, I give the normal game characters a fair shake, but you know what? It just didn't work out that way. It worked out for the best because uh, Antonov won and you know he deserves it especially after uh, he was like dog shit tearing 14 apparently anywho uh, I think I'm going to end it there um, I'm aside from the internet hiccups earlier on um I'm really happy with how this came out, and I'm super excited to share more of this stuff with you over the weekend. And uh, we'll actually have some uh, co-hosts uh, from the sound of it. Might be able to get Monday City. 
Monday Cindy, and uh, Eric from E-Town, su- uh, Sunday. Uh, nothing's set in stone, but we'll see. Yeah, thanks for the support and everything. It's been a hell of a time working on getting back, considering what has happened, but... I feel good finally being able to just get the ball rolling again and do what I love because streaming has become one of my biggest passions now. So making all these projects and showing people and all that stuff. And I'm, I'm just glad I got the, uh, got the courage to do it again. So what lies in the future for Grunk Zone? We, we will see. Thanks everybody for stopping by. Thanks everybody for promoting everything. And uh, we will see you Saturday and Sunday. Bye-bye.